Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Between Airbnb hotels and the traditional bed and breakfast, travelers have so many options when traveling around the world. And if you want to support a black-owned property, you can do just that. Our travel expert, Davey Sutton, is back to tell us Yay. all about the best black-owned hotels in the world. Hey, girl! Hi, Davey, hey, girl! Hey, girl! Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Oh, back to the circle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, what's going on down to the Airbnb, Airbnb and the bed and breakfast, child? <laughs> right. There are many options, but the properties that I'm going to talk about to mm -hmm. you today have two main things that tie them together. Mm -hmm. They're black-owned and they're luxury resorts. Ooh, so we're not luxury? Doing, okay. They're not necessarily Airbnb, even though you can find luxury resorts on Airbnb. Mm. So we're going to go from Virginia to Morocco. Okay. Let's start right here in the States okay. with Salamander Resort and Spa, which mm. is in Middleburg, Virginia. Oh, and yes. that's just about an hour outside of D.C. Now, the owner of this property also owns the Washington is one of the owners of Washington Wizards, mm -hmm. the Capitals, and the Mystics. Can mm -hmm. you guess who that might be? Girl, no. Uh, she also was one of the co-founders of BET Network. She was oh, Johnson. Yes. Yeah, so she owns this beautiful luxury wow. resort. It has about 168 rooms, three oh, more than 300 acres. And it, you can do it on the property. There's an equestrian center, of course, mm. a luxury spa. There's a fishing pond and zip lining. So it's a sister. Ooh. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So very, very romantic. This is where you go with your boo. I would imagine that your boo would okay. take you there. You get lots of points, right? <laughs> okay, so talk to us about number two, Spice Island Beach Resort. That's in Grenada, Spice Island Beach Resort. I've been, I had the pleasure of going there last year. The owner is Sir Royston. He's been in the tourism in industry for more than 50 years. Ah. And he, uh, representing his home country of Grenada, the only black owned property in Grenada. Mm. Wow. And uh, the prices, it's a bit pricey, but it's right on Grand Ons Beach, mm -hmm. which is one of the top beaches in the world. World, right behind Turks and Caicos. Mm. It's always ranked number two in the world. Wow. And uh, you, you Ooh, see it so butts pretty. right up into the beach um, and about a thousand a night, but it's definitely worth the stay. So what do you get for a thousand dollars a night though? It's an all-inclusive resort. Okay. okay. So well. you get everything. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to worry about your meals, but it, yeah. we're talking luxury. So it's not just going to like the tiki bar sure. and getting like some fries. I'm sure yes. if you want fries, who doesn't like fries? Right. But you can get, it's a, it's a luxury resort and, and you see they have all of the um, amenities Oh, I just love that beach. And I and, and the, just what they are doing, just representing people of color on the island and showing that it's a luxury property, it's just amazing. So is that like something that somewhere you can go for a girl's trip? Definitely a girl's okay. trip. Mm -hmm. But when we come back, when we return, David will be back with more beautiful results for your bucket list. So stay right here. So, that looked like that would be good. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're still here with our travel expert, Davy Sutton, with details on beautiful mm -hmm. black home resorts from all over the world. Where are we going next? Yes, girl, tell me. So we're going to go to Villa La Maison Michel in Barbados. Ooh. Oh, see, that sounds like something I want to go to. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's got a lot of names. And, and right. Frenchish yeah. and all of that. <laughs> and, and Villa and Barbados. Right. So like this my style. This that is, is the like smallest property that I'm showing you. Only seven seven rooms, but you get that intimate setting because mm -hmm. not everybody wants a big hotel. That's right. Dope. Right. And it has some of the best views in all of Barbados. So that's why I wanted to point that out. But the backstory of this is a husband and wife team that owned this property mm -hmm. that they purchased, that was owned, um, purchased by their, the wife's father more mm. than 50 years ago. Oh, wow. So there's a legacy here as well. Is there Ooh. any water, uh, like any beaches? In the, there's no beaches by just the pool. No, it just uh, it's lifted high on uh -huh. the on the island, on the so island. that you can see amazing you, views. You can I'm see sure. amazing oh. views, so you can see the ocean right there. Uh -huh. So it's not that far to get to the ocean, but it's not an ocean like adjacent. Walk out, yeah. Right now, Davy, I'm very excited about this next one because uh, Eve was e uh, Egypt was here Egypt. the other day, and she told us that she went to Morocco. So where are we going to Morocco? We're going to Marrakesh, Morocco, and I'm really excited about this pro property. It's actually on my bucket list. It's called Janan. Tom, Tomsna. Janan okay. is Arabic for big garden, and Tomsna is for which it stands. And nice. the woman who owns this property is absolutely fabulous. It's, her name is Maryam Loom Martin. And it's in Marrakesh, um, and it's named one of the top places in all of the world, but it has this intimate setting. You saw that tree right there? She built the property around nature. It's so, absolutely So you beautiful. don't knock down nature, you build it around right, right. nature. Ooh. And everything that she designed is unique. She handpicked all the des designs. So each room is individual, about 24 rooms. Um, so there's a Casablanca room, a Persian mm. room, It looks so African. tranquil. It's very tranquil. It has, you, so if you feel like doing yoga on the rooftop, you can yes. do that. There's Ooh. 
Oh, um, look at that pool, There's 24 lux luxury rooms, um, five pools, and nine acres of garden, which that's that's the young, that's the woman, Miriam, right there, mm -hmm. um, and, and nine acres of garden, which is designed and maintained by her husband, mm -hmm. and it's just majestic. I how many, love how this. How many black own resorts are there, just so in general? There are many, but not as many, right? Mm -hmm. So if there are a, a more than 70,000 hotels altogether, there's about uh, 500 oh, wow. uh, black owned. So there are options. You, if you're traveling, you can actually look to see where there's a black owned property and see if that's a place that you'd like to support. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they're out there, but we, of course, need more, right? Yes, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. But those are beautiful. We should really try to go, Sister Circle. Yes, so into it now. Just saying.